Warning, I, Dan Lanks, am going to completely blow your mind during this Minecraft video. So if you enjoy console Minecraft, hit that like button and subscribe for more block placing awesomeness. Hey, what's up guys? It's Dan Lags, and I am back again for a pretty cool video for you guys today. And as you can see, we are back in Danville. Um, kind of surprised to be back here, but um, you know, we're going to check out some stuff today. And um, I kind of wanted to do something kind of interesting in this video because, you know, Danville has some secrets that you guys may or may not know about. And I thought I would show them today and kind of reveal them to the world because uh, they've been so private for such a long time. And, you know, it's time to reveal them. So basically, during the construction of Danville, I added some secret rooms and secret bases and hideouts amongst the uh, houses and neighborhoods of the map. So uh, I'm going to show you guys three of the most significant ones and three of the most hidden ones um, that are in this map. And let's get started. So... There are a ton of secret rooms and stuff on this map, but I'm just going to show some of the, probably three of the best ones and three of the most hidden ones. And uh, for you guys that have downloaded the map, see if you have uh, found them already. Leave a comment if you found any of these. And uh, for people who haven't downloaded the map, this is just to show them off. So let's get started. The first one takes uh, place inside of the Dan Lag statue. Uh, this is, uh, let me show you on the map. It is... In the west, uh, northwestern area of the map, uh, right across the street from this wooden house, and uh, yeah, so inside of the the Dan Lags sculpture, I guess, is a secret room. But you might be wondering, well, where the hell do you enter? And I'm sure I'm interested to see if anyone's found this one because this probably is the most hidden one. Uh, if you actually come back around the back foot here, there's actually a little opening here in the black wall, very hard to spot, especially at nighttime. But if you're looking at it from a distance, you would definitely, you, de I definitely wouldn't spot that. So I'm curious to see if anyone found that. Yeah, leave a comment if you did. And basically, what you do is just kind of snake around, go up this ladder, and you're inside the mind of Dan Lag. So we're inside the head of the sculpture, and there's just a little TV in a sitting area here. So that was just a little fun I had one day, and I'm curious to see if anyone have found that one. So that's the first one, and I'll show you guys two more of the best ones. And uh, once I get out of here, I'll fly to the next one, and I'll be back for you guys in a second. So, all right, guys, I'll fly to the next secret area, and I will be back in just a second. Okay, guys, we are in the middle of the Danville Forest, and uh, this is actually in the north, very top northeastern part of the map. I like to call this the Oregon of Danville, and uh, or Washington State, I guess, or even Alaska, but whatever. That's not the point. And um, this is the forest. This is a little road that leads to nowhere that cuts through here and i'm sh pretty sure no one comes back here ever because there's no houses or anything to see really but there actually is a small pathway coming off the street here that leads through the woods and uh this one isn't too too hard to find if you if you spot the pathway but um this one's still cool nevertheless so if you just follow this bridge which is like kind of broken a little bit it's actually a really pretty view like right right here is a really pretty view it's a little waterfall coming down and it's just like the stream flows all the way through there and that connects all the way out to like the main the main part of the stream. So uh, if you continue to follow it back, it starts to get uh, very dense back here with trees. But just continue following the path, and you actually come back to this little hut here. And uh, if you walk through, there's a door, which leads to a, uh, a little secret base, I guess. It's got like a bed, everything you need, some furnaces and stuff like that. It's got even got a desk with a laptop on it, a chest, a uh, sitting area with a TV. So this is the second... Uh, Danville secret base and I'm curious to see if anyone found that one so again leave comments Tell me if you found any of them uh, Of course and we're gonna continue so once I get back up to the street here I'll get back to the bridge and I'll fly to the next one. So guys, I'm gonna show you the final secret base of Danville um, And I'll fly there right now. Okay guys, and as you would expect of course there is a secret room inside the volcano so uh, only a couple people have found this which is uh, impressive that only a couple people have found it because it's actually really hard to find if you're not looking for it and basically if you fly inside the lighthouse which is the entrance to the uh, interior of the volcano um, you know we have this little area in here and if you fly down this way this is actually uh, goes to my friend Matt's little apartment that he built he made a little apartment up here which is kind of cool it actually says something right here <laughs> Matt's mini mountain house awesome and uh, <laughs> I didn't actually know he put that sign there but um, if you come up here, there's actually a little opening right here, and it's cut off by something. And I'll show you exactly how this works right now. So if we fly back outside, um, there's actually a secret switch buried underneath the lava here. I think it's right here. Yes, here it is. And uh, right here. So if you, uh, this switch actually holds that door closed, and if you uh, break the current for the redstone, and you fly back outside, um, go back in here. 
that little opening up here has turned into a little area with a ladder. So I'm going to put some torches down so you guys can see. Here's the, uh, the redstone wiring that comes up through here. And if you just take this ladder up, you find the most well-hidden uh, secret room in Danville, and it is appropriately named the Dan Cave. So um, this is actually pretty old. I built this up right after I finished the uh, mountain, but, um, you know, it's still awesome, the Dan Cave. It's just a cool place. So that is where I'm going to end the video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Something a little bit different, just showing you guys some of the secrets of Danville. Some of you may have found these uh, if you download the map, and some of you may have never seen these before in your life. So... Uh, just some fun little uh, things that I had while building this epic map. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. It's been Dan Lives. Make sure you click the like button if you did enjoy this video, found it funny. And uh, you want to go check these. If you downloaded the map, go check these out. And uh, you can look at them in further detail. So that's pretty much it. It's been Dan Lags. Thank you very much for watching. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out.